I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. I want to focus on number tiles. Lower four, upper four, fives. Lower tiles, middle tiles, upper tiles. Those are all different scoring elements working with number tiles. Pungs and chows. Lots of flexibility, but specific. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round. We're going to roll the dice to randomize which seat we're in for each of those random pulls. Seat one, two, three, or four. East, south, west, north, respectively. East round. I rolled a six, so let's say we're in seat two. Usually what I do is start with this side of the table and count around whatever I roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be seat two or south. So we're gonna say we're in south seat and it's east round for this random pull. South seat is a non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. Okay, look at all these dots. One, two, four, five, eight, nine. This is the makings of a pure straight right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pure straight is element number 28. Sequence of one to nine in one suit with any other meld plus a pair. That would be 16 points. So I do think I would probably try for a pure straight. We're set for it really, because we could chow and all we need is a pair. This would be isolated, but we could chow, 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 and then we just need a pair. I think I would try for a pure straight here, but I also wanted to look and see about maybe looking at Lower four. Lower four is number 37. Four puns or chows in a pair using one through four. We've got two, three, four, one, two, four, five. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six discards. I think definitely in this case, a pure straight is a better plan, but I still want to train my mind to see different patterns for number tiles like lower four lower tiles middle tiles upper tiles i think we have such a spread here we do have eight nine and eight and then of course this potential for pure straight i think i would play pure straight here all right let's go to the next one south round. I rolled a 10. That would be south again. South round, south seat. Okay, we have four single honors. This hurts. As single honors with simples, which are two through eight in mixed suits, these single honors are not helpful. We would need to pair them up and pung them to get any kind of score. We're in south round, we're in south seat. So this could bring score. So could these two. Any pung of dragons is a point or two points actually. Let's see. Dragon Pung, two points. Seat Wind, two points. 
The other potential I see is 789 mixed triple chow. 789 in each suit. I think what I would try to do here mixed triple chow honors. I think I would get rid of these. Now let's look at one thing. There, with single honors, there is something called knitted tiles. Knitted tiles are number 34 and number 20. Number 34 is called lesser honors and knitted tiles. You have three suits represented, 147, 258, and 369. So let's see if we could make it. 258, 369, 147, 58, 258, 258, 147, 369. We're kind of in, in between here, 147. These would go away. Either way, we didn't use this and we didn't use this. So I think what I would try to do here, I would hold that, I would hold these, just in case lesser honors and knitted tiles comes in. You need odd honors, all singles. So I would say we're in between mixed triple chow or lesser honors and knitted tiles. Mixed triple chow, by the way, is number 41, and that's eight points. I would throw these first. If you see another opportunity in here, let me know. And we'll go on to West round. This time, let's say we're in seat four. For these tiles, I think I would try for a half flush. A half flush is six fawn. We would need to come up with two more points somewhere. A pung of terminals is one fawn, one point. So we might get something there. A, there's a concealed pung score as well. Let's see here. Two concealed pungs is four points. Double pungs. Two concealed kongs. Two concealed pungs. Two concealed pungs is two points. So maybe we could draw into this and have two concealed pungs for those extra points. Half flush concealed pungs. Or we could do concealed for two points. Concealed is number 62. So do half flush concealed. Or if we draw in BAMs, we could do full flush. We have a lot of BAMs in here. I think I would try to stay concealed, draw in BAMs, and focus on that. We could maybe get some score if we draw into the seven BAM and have two concealed pungs. So I would focus on concealed BAMs in this scenario. There's also here a potential pure double chow. Pure double chow is number 69 and that's one point. That's the same chow in the same suit, 789, 789. 
That's kind of nice, actually. All right, let's go to the next one. North Pole. This time, we're going to say we're in East Seat, since I rolled a five. So this time, we'll get 14 tiles. This is going to take some work. We have a pair. All the others are singles. The first thing my mind goes to when we have single honors is lesser honors and knitted tiles. So let's see if we have any potential there. 147, 258, 369. 147, 369, 258 or two five six nine five seven either way we didn't use the one i think i would start i think i would start by discarding the one see if lesser honors and knitted tiles comes in or play half flush concealed half flush concealed that's eight points half flush concealed is eight points five six five five I was thinking, you know, I want to train myself to see middle tiles, four, five, six. I mean, isn't that, let's see, it's four pungs or chows and a pair. Four, five, six, five, four, five. We have only five tiles. I think the majority of your tiles needs to be those tiles. So I, I don't think I would focus on middle tiles for here. We have way too many other tiles here. We have five discards for half flesh. But I would start by discarding the one. See if the knitted tiles and lesser honors comes in or half flesh concealed. If you would do something different with these, write it in the comment section below. Practice for pattern recognition. That's what these random pulls do for me. If you have a set at home, get them out and give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you recognize opportunities with a drawn hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls. For Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.